everyone, it's Carly here. I'm just waiting for the wonderful Liz Pichon who does the illustrations and she created the Tom Gates books. So hopefully she can join us in a sec. So if you all want to get a pen and a pad ready, we've got some great drawing tips from Liz coming up shortly. Oh, here she is. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right, how are you? Yep, all good. I've got my pens, I've got loads of Sharpies if I need Oh, wow, them. okay. And a big pad, so. Wow, we'll brilliant. Handy. And you look very set up. I've got some cool doodles in the background there. We have, yes. Yeah. Some, there's something I made earlier. Yeah. I've even, I've even put my, I've got my little earrings on for you. Oh. I've got my Tom Gates earrings that I've painted on. They are brilliant. Oh, no. they are <laughs> and brilliant. that one, I might, I might need to get some, they're great. <laughs> You know, do you want to run us through, Liz, what you're going to show us today? Well, what would you like me to draw? Shall I, uh, shall I draw something very similar to what I've got in the background there? Yes. So I thought I'd draw, draw a little... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm open for requests as well. Okay. So, um, I just thought you just need... Because um, the, the great thing about this style of doodling is that you can draw it on lots of different things as well. I'm reaching down here to show you. I know I've done this before on Girl Talk. But I think I showed how to draw on shoes. Wow! So all those pens that you had before that you just held up, so, yeah, those are what I drew, used to draw on these. They That's all pretty. you need. Yeah, so if you've got an old pair of shoes or um, some trainers or something like that, something that you want to recycle, you know, like add a bit of colour onto so you can use those pens. So if I show you how to do like a style of drawing, you yep. can draw it on a piece of paper, but you can also draw on T-shirts, on a bag, on a pair of shoes. Yes, love it. <laughs> like this one as well. Like here, there's another one I've got. I've got loads of things here. That was just like a little... They're so funky. I, I, yeah. need, I need to do this. So maybe your readers would like to enjoy doing that. Okay, so I'm going to draw... I'll show you how to draw Tom Gates first and then some of the patterns and things around it. So take your piece of paper and I'm going to draw a circle at uh, first, like that. And but can I say as well, don't... Oh, oh you're right. <laughs> I'm all right. The phone fell, not me. We're all right. In the excitement of getting your drawing down, don't worry about making a mistake, everyone. Okay. Like, this drawing is really, you know, it's you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to worry about it being exactly like mine. It's just all about, you know, just showing you how to do something and you can adapt it and do your drawings yourself. So Tom has got... If you draw a circle, Tom's got two little ears either side there. Yeah, like that's the ears. So if it's not quite the same as you, it just adds their own little individual personality, don't it? So don't worry about it. I'm every time I do one of these drawings, it's always different. And Tom's got like a flat top hairstyle, so I draw a line down there and then one across. And then it's almost like you're drawing a kind of M at the side there. Oh, got you. I've, I've messed up already. Never mind. No, yeah. no, you haven't messed up. Look, there's Tom. Look, I'll just give you a bit. Then you can see him in the background there. Oh, like, got, he's got an extra Perfect. line. Perfect. All right, and then you're going to do a little two dots for eyes. Yeah. Like that. A little nose and a smiley mouth. Like that. <laughs> Big smile. So Tom. If, you've, if you've got a bit of time, I'm not going to do that now, but actually... Oh, I love it. That's great. So um, so you can colour in Tom's hair, but I won't do that right now. Okay. So the next thing you do is draw a circle all the way around. Like that. And I say circle, but, you know, as you can see, it's not exactly a perfect circle. Yeah, mine's more of a weird big blob, so don't worry, guys. If you just... <laughs> okay, and then do another one on the outside. Like that. Well, mine's really... I might Not go there. inside because my big one is so big. So we've yeah, gone. that's fine. Perfect, perfect. Okay, now I'm going to show you. And now I, I'm going to draw these little lines there, like that. So again, this I'm is just, just yeah. So just so everyone knows, I am leaving the skill to Liz here. We're just giving this a go. I'm not a pro at all, and I need all the tips I can get. I'm sure well, you're not watching are a lot better than me. But it's all well, about let's see. having I, a laugh. I see some of the drawings, you know, I get sent pictures and drawings that people have done, um, you know, when they've drawn on cakes and all kinds of things. And they're always so much better than mine. So and my main thing is don't worry about it. Yeah, just go 
Let's right. have a go. Right, I've nearly right. done all the lines. Okay. okay. Yep, yeah, we're there. So I'm going to draw a star next, a bit like the background. Look at that. That's very easy. I, I like it. I like the extra. You've put lots of extra lines in. That's great. So if you want to draw a star, again, don't worry about making a mistake. You do a little pointy triangle like that. Yeah. One side, one there, one there. And then again, it's a bit like doing a W. I think stars are quite tricky to draw sometimes. With, with well, I always do them slowly. That's why I do them slowly, because as you're doing one there, little point at the side, one at the other side, and then... Perfect. Yeah. And then we're going to make them, if you can see just over my head, we're going to make them like sort of shooting stars like that. So basically you put a little dot on your page and then you draw a line all the way down to the same dot. So it's just kind of... Mine's quite short there, so it doesn't matter. That's why I said don't don't worry about copying me exactly. Okay, like that. Go around there. So it looks like he's got sort of two star dealy boppers at the moment. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. <laughs> it's great. I really like it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do. <clears throat> is let's see um well let's just draw a little box underneath because that's quite a nice place to put you can you can sign your name there afterwards okay and depending on how much space we've got i'll show you how to draw a monster as well <gasps> okay so where and do I we get these ideas from for your monsters and for tom where do they all I don't, know, I don't know i mean they've been on all the books since the beginning because um tom gates is um it's 10 years since i started writing and drawing the book so i've been doing them for quite a long time now and it's gone in a flash like that so um yeah i just kind of imagine this is the sort of thing that tom would do so okay so we're going to draw a monster so draw a line up like that and again you can always make up your own monster and it's almost like you're doing a little sort of M. Yep. Again. And then draw a line across and do another one the same. Are these like are that. little ears? Is it an ear? Little ears. Yeah. I've got you. Ears. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now draw a line down. And then you're going to try and draw, it's like a little foot. So if I do it like that, can you get that? Yep. And then down again. And then that's his other foot there. That's what I mean about it. it. Doesn't really matter if it's different. Okay, where are we? <laughs> where are I'm trying to do the toes, even if they sort of. We're sort of there. Not That's perfect, right? Okay, give it a little, a little arm that side, a little arm that side. I say arm, but they're little kind of. Like, and then you need to do the eyes, and the eyes are. They always have one really big eye, and then a little one next to it. One can... big one. Is there anything you find particularly tricky to draw? Um, hands, hands. <laughs> any kind of mechanical like cars. I always have to sort of uh, think about how a bicycle works or anything like that. Any sort of perspective, uh, hands particularly. You, there's lot, lots of um, uh, people that read my books will see that a lot of my characters are, are quite often have their arms folded. <laughs> That's a good hack. So you can yeah. your hands and fold the arms. Yeah, just fold their arms. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to draw the monster's mouth, which is like what I call a letterbox mouth. Right, got you. And then you can give it some teeth. Like that. See, I've made... So you've now got... So you can carry on. You know, you can add in... Perfect. That's perfect. I love it. They, they look more like ears and arms, don't they? Yeah, that's I'm fine. And I'm, I'm just going to add in a little smiley face there. And then you could probably dot a few other stars around the picture. And then we come to the really fun bit, which is... Um, actually, I might even give him a speech bubble, like that. So the idea is that you just do lots of little things, like all the way around. Okay. So we and now I'm going to page. Yeah. And now I'm going to show you how to sort of join them all up. You know, which is you can see on there. I've started to draw different characters and then the stars, and then you start drawing them up. And the way you do that is take your pen or your pencil, whatever you're drawing with, and you just draw a line around the stars like that and then maybe around the smiley face and whatever else you've drawn and the idea is that you just start filling up the um little update there we go my lines are extremely wonky yeah mine are all wobbly i don't think there's one good straight line not gonna lie 
That's all right. That's, it's a very forgiving style. Okay, I'm going to do some more stars, like shooting stars like that. Okay, and then draw a line around your star. Right, we've got the line. And then there's another one there. You see that? I like making the shooting stars. All like that, down. There we go. So I, that's it, perfect. Right, then this is, the, this is the bit I really love. You can start anywhere on your drawing, but then you just start doing these very, you start doing these yeah. little curved lines. And you can do them in any direction. And the idea is that you're just going to start filling up your drawing. So you go one way, then another way. Sort of you can like just literally any way you want. I'm just doing whatever you feel like doing. And if you leave the spaces in between them, those are the spaces that you can go back and colour later on if you want to. Got you. And then see, like that. So it looks like it's a really kind of complicated drawing, but actually you can see already, look. It's starting to fill out. It's and starting to fill up, yeah. And that's what you can do if you're doing, if you want to try, obviously get permission first. Don't do, start going drawing on your shoes, get me into <laughs> trouble. But if you do want to try it on something else, like, a, you know, you've got a bag or a T-shirt or something, um, always make sure you put something in the T-shirt before you start drawing on it, because then you don't want to go through to the bag. But this is a really great style to try out on all different kinds of things. And I know your Girl Talk readers like making things a lot, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they, they love it. Yeah, and I think so, I think it's nice as well because obviously you've got the black and white, but they can uh, free to then colour in whatever they want, and they can bring in as much colour or as little as. They yeah, want. I mean you can see the drawing, the one I've done in the background there, on the wall. That's just you know that looks really effective in black and white, but again you can actually colour it in. So I'm just going to carry on colouring it in there. I think I need to speed that. up with my lines. I'm a little bit behind. That's but okay. Fill them in. So you did mention that Tom is basically 10. It's been going on for 10 years old. Yeah, I mean, he's not 10. I never kind of say how old he is, but he, I, I did the first book. First book came out in 2011. So this year is Tom's 10th anniversary. So anniversary, um, yeah. I've got 18, the 18th book. Yeah. Give it a plug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, show us. That's uh, 10 Tremendous Tales, and that's going to be out on the 18th of February. So that's the next book, and it's a collection of stories, which I hope everyone's going to enjoy. And we've also got, you can see my light there, flashing away, <laughs> the telltale sign no, of I'm the sure Instagram light. Very excited about that. I'm yeah. Sure so, also, do you think Tom will ever grow up in any of the stories? I don't think so. I think he's going to be like, um, it's a bit like Bart Simpson, you know, he never, yeah. never grows up. He's always the same age. So, um I think because if he did get older, it would be a very different book. And I haven't got any plans to do it at the moment, but, you know, never you say know never. <laughs> there we go. Let's just keep going here. How's your drawing then going? Um, I think it's going OK. I'm trying to do like the little mini rainbows, different directions, but I'm not sure if it's not going as... Oh, <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I think that looks great. Yeah, we're, we're, we're slaying it, as my daughter would say. <laughs> Slay all day. We're, yeah, we are absolutely. There we go. <laughs> and I'm just going to fill that up like that. And there's another one there. Yeah, because I mean, you always have lots of really fun things to, to make and, and do and stuff and things like that in your magazine as well. Um, it's exactly the sort of thing that I would have absolutely loved to have read. No, they love anything crafty and if there's yes. tips of how to get better, then who else should we speak to? We've got a real pro here. So... There we go. Look, can you sit? I'm just going to fill those in before my arm <laughs> starts going to sleep, holding the paper up like that. Like that light. And... It's, it's actually very... It's You know, once you get going, you can see it's... It's really nice doing it. It doesn't have to be, um, the lines don't have to be perfect. You don't have to worry about, you know, if it's making a mistake, you don't have to worry about going over the lines or them being wobbly. Because it actually, the nice thing about this style, it's, it's the way um, just doing those lines and patterns. Look, that's brilliant. Well I've done. Thought I've got into the side of the page, which is not given the effects you have. So. I should have probably left the gap, shouldn't I? But never mind. I think, honestly, I think it looks great. And I'm going to fill that in some at the top, like that. What you should do is, if you get a chance, you should add some colour to yours later and then and then put it up. Show us show us the doodle. I'd love and to see people's drawings. If yeah, they're actually drawing along. Them, 
Yeah, we want to see them, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Tag us both in it so we can both see. Put it on your stories if anyone's doing it and watching. I would love to see them. But I do want to ask, Liz, yes. do you get sent lots of caramel wafers? Um, I, do you know, if I'm doing, I mean, obviously you can't do it at the moment, but if I was doing live events, quite often people would bring me a wafer, which is nice. So my advice to anybody, if you're going to put a snack in your book, in your story, make sure it's something that you really like. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put something in there that you don't really like and then people will start bringing them to you. And sometimes people bring me um, fake wafers as well. Fake wafers? What, yeah, like they'll have eaten them and they'll just give me the empty wafer because that's a trick that Tom does in his um, in the book. Oh, that's not very nice. Which is, I mean... Which is cruel, I think. <laughs> I mean, they should be thanking you for all the great content. Give me a fake one. It's actually, it is a very good trick though. There you go, look, look at that. Yeah, yours is looking good. I'm not sure of mine, but we'll we'll get there. And I've left a little box there so I can write. Bye. Liz. Ishan. With your characters, is there any of them that you've ever based on real people that you know? Well, interestingly, um, Tom is actually, well, I say interestingly, it might not be. <laughs> I'm assuming it might be. Um, Tom's very based very much on me when I was a kid. There's lots of things that I write about that Tom um, did, or Tom does, that have actually really happened to me as well. So there you go. I'm going to leave that up there. That looks oh. great. I'm not quite really caught up yet, yeah, but... Oh, my arm's gone to sleep now. Look at that, that's amazing. <laughs> we've got, we've got this far. Let's have a look. Well, I think that's fantastic. Well done. I was going to say, look, I've got a T-shirt here as well. This is a T-shirt I made with a dog zombie on it. Oh, I was going to ask you about the dog zombies as well. If oh. they went on Britain's Got Talent, do you think they'd get the golden buzzer or would they be booed off the stage? Oh, dog zombies. I, I, mm, the, there's a chance that they could be um, booed off the stage because the whole thing about Tom and his band is that they never quite get it together to practice enough. They always get very easily distracted by... Um, snacks and doing other things they never quite get it together so yeah i i think they they'd like the idea of going on but i don't think it would work out completely you think star and cow <laughs> would be a little bit a little bit mean to her maybe yeah exactly something would happen <laughs> or they'd be late or they'd miss the date or something that, that's probably what would happen you want me to show you more drawing or should we have a little chat up to you what is there any more tips and tricks that you think our readers or watchers would Benefit from knowing any uh, uh, any doodle any hats? Little, any doodle hats. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Well, oh, oh, oh here we go. What's just my dad? Well, actually, I've, I'm surrounded by things that I've made. Um, oh, I've just pulled his thing. But I've been, I've, I've had plasticine. So I've been <laughs> making things with plasticine recently. That was a little... A little that, monster. Was that was a little monster, yeah. So I quite like the fact that um, some of the things from the books it, I, I like making into actual objects. And very oh, cool. I might even have a little bug here. Oh, so, that's quite cute. That's, oh, he's yeah, very, that's pretty cute. They're very, very easy to make. They're just literally sort of two balls of plasticine, and then you put the white thing, and then I've just drawn little arms and legs on. So yeah, very cute. Because I know, again, you, I know your readers like making things, so I've got lots of things like that. We've been requested, I've seen the comments, for more drawing. Oh, more drawing, okay, more drawing. More drawing. Everyone's, yeah, everyone's saying more drawing, so... Right, more drawing then. So, is there, are there any requests for anything in particular? Would there be, would they like me to draw? A dog zombie. A dog zombie? I can draw a dog zombie. Absolutely, right, okay. A dog zombie, so... Dog zombie starts off with, let me just get a nice place here. So you need to do a dog zombie's ears. So it's a little point like that. Oh, nice. he's gone again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about Look, that. This is like action drawing, isn't it? <laughs> You're propped up. You're good. So, and a point there like that. Yep. And then you draw a straight line out. And then it's almost like you're doing a big U shape, so... Oh, like that, that just joins it up. Quite missed his ear a little okay, bit. Okay, I'll join him. Okay, we're... That's it, that's good. 
I love you going for it. Yeah. Do it. Okay, and then let's draw a body. So that's almost like a great big U shape as well. It's quite a sort of um, chunky looking dog zombie. Perfect. Right, so as it, he's got a sort of zombie, like, you know, be like that with his arm, his paws, right? right? Okay. So we've got one there and one there. And then you can draw the little paw marks on it like that. I'm nearly there, yeah. Ready. We've we got here so far. Excellent. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's going great. And then let's let's give it give it a little nose like that. That's a bit of a wonky nose. And then because it's a zombie, it has to have very big starey eyes, so Oh big eyes. Big eyes, yeah. Big starey eyes. Yep, yeah, perfect. <laughs> I just love yours. <laughs> So, put the dots in the eyes then. Yep. Like that. I'm just sort of making, I'm just doing a double line because it kind of makes it a bit, a bit darker like that. Okay, go around the eyes. And then, obviously he's got a kind of, I've given him a sort of saggy mouth there. And there has to be a bit of drool, a little bit of drool <laughs> coming out. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know what. I, know, I want to hear a story about your dog. Then. So, because it's a zombie, of course, it needs some scars. Okay. So, be very free with the scars. I think. All over. All over. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving it a, a few dog spots as well, Something like that. But mine looks like you might not have slept for a little while. Well, I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> so I've had a bit of a long, long night. Maybe his dog friends were keeping him up and he, all he wanted was a little nap. Yeah, but... we can just do little ear things inside. Just give oh, ears as well. Little ear, just a little sort of triangle in the ears. Um, and then he does one foot, which is kind of out like that. Yeah. And then another foot that he's kind of, I'm saying he, it's not necessarily he, but it's standing on like that. Oh no, my feet's gone wrong. It's got a bit of a bit of a fat foot, but it's okay. That's all right, it's a zombie. It can look, it can look <laughs> however you want it to look. That one's a bit wrong. I love it. <laughs> I think it's great, it's brilliant. So there you go, that's so that's your dog zombie. There we are. And you can turn anything. Perfect. That is I love it. <laughs> <laughs> You can turn anything into a, a zombie. So sometimes I turn characters in. Um, I've even drawn, I think we've drawn before, just to show you, like if I draw a pen, you imagine that's a very big pencil. That's a sort of pencil like that. So yeah. just to show that you can turn anything into a zombie. Yeah. Charlie, keep up. That's <laughs> <laughs> they look great. We have been asked if you can draw yourself. Oh, okay. Right. Here's draw my myself. Pen my pencil's not looking as as fit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could add a few scars there. Look. Yeah, yeah. Draw and scars. That always wins. So if your things aren't looking quite fierce enough, scars. Will it's a very, it's a very short, stubby pencil. So. Do you know me? I'm terrible at drawing myself. I'm just wondering if I can draw it up here. It might be easier. My hand's going to sleep. So if I can draw it there, you can see. Yeah. We'll so, see. Um, mm, I've got, I've, unfortunately, I've been having to cut my own fringe. So I wouldn't have, uh, uh, I wouldn't tell your uh, readers to cut their own fringe. Yeah. But it's, it's slightly wonky at the moment. But, um, oh. Yeah, I've got bags under my eyes there. Yeah. Actually, I look... <laughs> that doesn't really look... Looking good. Hang on. I've I was also strange... wondering, if you were a teacher at Oakfield, what would you be like? Would you be a nice teacher? 
I'd be one of those. I, uh, I'd be one of those terrible art uh, supply. I'd be like a supply teacher that none of the children would take any notice of. <laughs> and I'd probably get them to. Um, I haven't got a very. When I go into schools, I haven't got a very loud voice at all. You know, there are some teachers. I don't know if you remember. There are some teachers I remember in my school that would literally just be able to to say quiet right? and everyone would go quiet and there were other teachers that would be trying to go quiet and no one would take any notice and that would be me oh school. well i'm sure if you were the art teacher they'd all take notice wouldn't they well i do it's funny because um i do remember my art teacher at pri especially at secondary school and at primary school as well i had a really lovely art teacher and we got to do she made us uh, make a mural right, on, across the entire classroom, back wall. We spent nearly a whole week making this mural of New York City and the whole class took part and they all had to make little buildings and trees and it went well, out of paper and it looked absolutely amazing. And I can't imagine, and I still remember it now. I still remember how exciting it was and how pleased we all were with this amazing artwork. So I, I was very lucky to have really, two really good art teachers in my primary school and in my secondary school. Um, so it's, it's really nice to do lots of creative, and I still remember all the creative projects that we did as well. There we are. I've just yeah. sort of made it. Um, yeah, I look a bit tired there, but that's probably true to life. Right, so no, looking me. good. There we go. Is there any also, I, I had a teacher in my secondary school and some of the, if you, some of the kids, they might recognise as um, a teacher called Mrs. Knapp in the Tom Gates books. And Mrs. Knapp um, sings the register. And when I was at school, I used to have a teacher who did that as well. She would, she'd make us sing the register. So we'd have to call out our names going, here, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, so things, things that happened to me at school, I've put in the books. That's great, yeah. that's great. I've, you should have like a little list somewhere. I should have had one because there's so much from school where you could like pull out funny things and put them into like your work now, and especially when your your audience is kids, they'd still find find it funny, wouldn't they? Well, I always think that everybody has funny stories that they about their fa family, their friends, their pets. You know, they always have funny stories, and all I do is remember um, stories that happened to me when I was younger, and I just have found a way to put them in a book. So everybody has ideas like that, because that's one of the number one questions people ask me all the time is, where do you get your ideas from? And I always say, you know, I'm like a magpie. I'm always collecting ideas. If there's, I look on, you know, if I see something funny on Instagram, then I'll take a picture. If somebody, if I hear something or something makes me laugh, um, I read an article uh, a while ago and it said, uh, it was about a man who dug a really massive deep hole. He had a metal detector and he was convinced that some treasure was underneath because the metal detector kept going off and he kept digging and digging and digging until he finally discovered that he was wearing steel, steel toe cap boots. <laughs> I just remember thinking that was really funny. So I've written that down. So you'll probably see that appearing in a book at some point. So that's what I do. That's a little tip for you. Keep a diary as well, because you always forget things. Yeah. You always forget. And I was going to say like, this is here, this is a little bit of, this is the very first Tom Gates book I ever wrote. This is actually how, what I did for Tom wow. Gates. So I imagined that, um, I wrote it in an exercise book. So I imagined that Tom was at school. This was his book and there we are. So that's actually, and I, all hand, I hand wrote it like that. That's very cool. So some people that have got the very first book they will probably um, recognise like some of the pages in here because some of them are, are similar. Like that's a doodle that I did. That's in the book as well. So if you're wanting to make make your own stories or write your own stories, you literally you can just use you know use an exercise book. There you go. Simple as that. And also now when they have little embarrassing moments, they don't have to cringe about them because they can put them down and maybe get a story out from one day. Well, that's exactly. I mean, I used also because I've got three grown-up children now. But um, I've definitely pinched ideas from from their childhood, yeah. from things that's happened to them. They used to actually say to me, like, if something happened, they go, oh, mum, you're going to put that in a book, aren't you? <laughs> I am. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I might. Write that down. 
Santa. Oh, well, I'm sure there's more to come. Grandkids in the future, great grandkids. You might still be doing Tom and... Okay. No? <laughs> I won't work you see my one. face? <laughs> <laughs> no. I do really hope that's not for a very, very long time yet, but, you know. <laughs> oh, I just, I just, like... meant, just meant that the embarrassing moments will be endless, so we'll, you'll be filled yeah, with ideas good. forever. It's part of my job, I think, to being a, to be an embarrassing parent, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> is there anything else you want to add or any more tips and tricks you think are worth knowing? Or should we just <laughs> have a look at the book again? Oh, OK. Yes, well, um, let's have a look in here. I'm just going to see, well, I've got... Let's see if there are any... any all the different pages. We've got lots of... I love my end papers. I always sort of do lots of... Lots of drawings and doodles on the end page. So they've got green ones at the front. So is this, book out, that, is this book out now? This is on the 18th of February. So we've got up. all this to look forward to. Got lots and lots of nice pages in there. So every every start of the story has got like a a nice double page spread there. We've got some how to make at the back. I'm trying not to show you anything that I shouldn't because actually we've got the winners. What was brilliant about this book is that we had a competition so people could um, have a go at drawing and doodling and the best ones are in the book. <laughs> so we've got the drawings of all the best ones and so I can't show you those because we haven't announced okay. them yet. But, um, um, there's a how to make a bug, which is in the oh. book, how to make a little bug there. there. So um, and then lots of fun, yes, lots of fun things in this book. And if you haven't got that one, I've just happened to go, because, you know, I'm going for it here. So I've got this other book out, which is out now as well. That was the last book, which isn't a Tom Gates, but um, has this fabulous shoelace, which I was very proud about. And you can see where I got the idea about shoes, because I yeah. like, you can see, particularly like shoes. And this is just got just as many drawings and doodles, but it's a completely different standalone book. So if you've read all the Tom Gates books and you're desperately looking for something else and you get through this one quickly, there's Shoe Wars as well. That's out Brilliant. There. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for the That's all right. session. I've learnt loads. I'll be colouring them <laughs> later. Yeah, make some of these as well. Make some little creatures as I've well. I've actually got some air dry clay, which I could have a little... Perfect. Well, you can make your own badges as well. I mean, I've, I've made badges out of um, air dry clay. You just pop a, like, a safety pin or you can get a badge, a special badge thing um, and make those. They're always fun to do. Brilliant. Uh, I'm making, I'm making one as we speak. <laughs> but yeah, if anyone's done any drawings along with us today, then we'd love to see them. Put them on your stories and tag us in them maybe or send them to Girl Talk. But yeah, thanks Liz so much. It's right. been amazing. I'm sure everyone loved it. And yeah, good luck with the books. Good luck. And if you get a chance to colour in your drawings, don't forget, do send us, yeah, if you get a chance to colour them in as well. Like all the little spaces there, colour them in and uh, we'd love to see them. But thanks, thank you so much for inviting me. I hope, thank um, you. look forward to seeing them. Yeah, will do. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.